think dreams are just casual. Dreams are not casual. Dreams are ways God uses to let you know what is going on in the realms of the supernatural. And remember, everything on this earth, or in the physical, is controlled by the supernatural. So when you don't take your dreams seriously, whatever you see in your dreams will manifest in the physical. I'm going to explain one or two things that goes on in the dream. And your agenda tonight is that every evil dream that the devil has orchestrated, composed against you, you are destroying it, you are cancelling it by the fire of the Most High God. And you are destroying it in Jesus' name. That no evil dream will manifest in your life. And if you have been having some good dreams, you are going to pray that these good dreams will manifest in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. When you have a dream and you see yourself eating, anytime you have a dream and you are eating, it is a very bad thing. It means that very soon you are going to lose something very important. You are going to miss an opportunity. In fact, if you have an, a, an appointment or you are going for an interview and the night, the day before the interview you, dr you dreamt and you were eating, you better not even go for the interview because you are going to be denied. It is going, it's going to be a bad luck. You are going to be denied. Or you will dreamt, you are going to take an exam uh, and you dreamt the day before the exams, you were eating. You are going to feel it. Dreams, dreams eating means that bad luck, retrogression, setback, roadblock, you are going to miss an opportunity. You are going to lose something important. When you dream and you eat, you are eating. Immediately when you wake up, pray and destroy it and fast and break and destroy the plant. And if possible, if that day you have the next day you have the appointment, you better call them and tell them to cancel it and finish the fasting before you go. Because if you go, you are going to lose the opportunity. The door will be closed before you. Because that dream means that the witches met and that day were blocking and canceling and frustrating and, and destroying your opportunity. And so when you dream and you are eating before a, a very big occasion before you, it's better you call them and say for health reasons you can't come. After you have done your serious fasting and prayer, reschedule and go and you'll get your victory. One friend of mine dreamt and in her dream she was just, you know, I'm going to go to that part of it. When you also dream and you see yourself being injected, somebody like a, 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 a doctor comes or nurses are injecting you in your dream. They are infusing sicknesses and terminal diseases into your body. And when I went to a prophetic crusade, one lady dreamt and in a dream they were injecting her with a needle what they were doing is that they were giving her hiv AIDS, and they had already given her the AIDS virus in the spirit and so after they had injected her in the dream now in the spirit she already had the hiv AIDS virus now in the physical they were going to link this young lady to a young man who had the HIV so that the young man would transfer it onto her because already in her dream they had already injected the sickness into her body and so now that she already has it in the spirit physically they have to let something happen so that you will give you will get a reasonable uh, reasons why you are having HIV so now they were going to manipulate her to have an intercourse an extramarital affairs or uh, fornication with a young man and that young man carried the HIV virus but it all happened in the spirit but thanks be to God she came for the crusade and the prophet revealed it to her and break the yoke and she was released so if you if you dream if you dream and you see yourself being injected it means they are putting sicknesses into your body begin to fast and break it when you also dream and you see yourself seeing yourself in a casket or seeing yourself in a funeral or see yourself in the tomb or around where um, they bury people, the mortuary. It means that the devil is packaging death. The spirit of death and hell is moving around you. They are signing something to destroy you or kill somebody around you or to kill something around you. You have to pray and bind the demon of death and hell and say, I shall not die. I will live and declare the works of the Lord. If you play, something mysterious will take your life through sickness, through accident, or they'll cast a spell to kill you mysteriously. Death will be knocking at your door. Sometimes when you dream and you see yourself climbing a ladder, and when you get to the top, you just come back again. It means that 
there's going to be a retrogression, a setback. Wherever you are, whether you have a, a job, whatever you have money, you have a position, they are going to bring you to ground zero. When you dream and you see yourself climbing a ladder, and every time you, re you seem to be reaching the top, they are bringing you down. It means that witches are meeting and they are casting the spell of um, limitation, retrogression, stagnation, roadblock in your life. Begin to give yourself to intensive fasting and prayer. Otherwise, you will never get the job. You will never get you never break through. You will always be delayed and late in life. You can never move forward in life because witches are working on you in that way. Sometimes you take an elevator and it is going and it's going, but it is taking you down instead of up. Meaning that there are forces witches are working against you, bringing you down instead of you moving on. Sometimes you dream and in your dream you wake up and there is marks all around your body. It means that these demons and witches have made a mark on you. They have marked you for destruction. They have marked you to monitor your life. Wherever you go, they are monitoring you. They can always control you like a remote control to frustrate your life. Whenever you see marks in your dreams and you wake up and you can really see some marks, you have been marked for destruction. It means that somebody is using the familiar spirit and they are with their psychic computer and with their antenna, they are monitoring your life. Wherever, when you are at the point of making any headway in marriage, in relationship, in, in, your, in, your, in your education or in your business, they are going to bring you back. They are going to pull you down because you have been marked. When you have sex in dream or you see yourself having children in your dream or you see yourself in the situation under the water, it means that there is a spiritual called incubus or succubus. Spiritual husband and spiritual wife have been released over your life, meaning that you have been initiated or you have been have a covenant with these demons and they are, that's why you have sex with them. You have to begin to destroy, bind them and cast them off your life. When you also have a dream, and in your one lady, when she had a dream, all her teeth were, re were, were removed. All her teeth were removed and she found herself playing with children. She found herself playing with children. What that dream means is that the devil, even though she had, she's an old person, the devil has reduced her in the spirit as a child. So whatever she is in life, they are not going to make her to be ever independent. I mean, they are not going to make her breakthrough in her education, breakthrough in business, breakthrough in marriage. Because according to the witches, you are still a child. That's why she was playing with children and all her teeth were removed. This lady got a breakthrough into the university to study nursing. The first year, very smart lady, but the first year she was kicked out because she didn't work on the dream of when she, her teeth were removed and she was seeing herself naked and playing with kids. You have to take your dreams seriously, otherwise the dreams will destroy you. Tonight you are going to destroy every evil dreams against your life. Sometimes you dream and in your dream you see flies or some animal attacking you. It could be a tiger, it could be a lion, it could be a serpent. Every time you dream, you, you dream they are chasing you, they want to attack you. And every time they are almost attacking you and they are suffocating you, then you cry Jesus. It means that your enemies are planning evil against you and you are weak in the spirit. That's why they are attacking you. That's why they are always overpowering you. The day you begin to give yourself to fasting and prayer and you strengthen yourself, you will begin to now overcome them. It means that there is an attack over your life. If you don't deal with them, they are going to destroy you and frustrate your life. Also, when you, you dream and you find yourself taking an exam, and it is a very difficult exam, and you seem not to have answer to the exam, and you are failing the exam, it means that the devil is saying that you are not crossing over to, to move to the next level in your life. Either you, you are looking for a job or you want promotion or you want a raise, they are never going to give it to you or you are not, never, never going to break through the, the, level, the next level because in life you have to pass an exam in order to be promoted and never to move to them. So if you are struggling, you find yourself writing an exam and you are failing the exams and it's too, too hard, it means that the witches are denying you access to your inheritance, to your blessings, and to your breakthrough. They are stopping your destiny. It could be in your job, it could be in your business, it could be in your marriage, it could be in, in any some, some part of your life. They are blocking you. It could bring retrogression, stagnation, lateness, delay in life. Or sometimes you, 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 you dream and you find yourself in your high school and your, or your primary school. It means that they are working and bring you back. They are bringing you back to your elementary stages. Even though you are moving forward in life, they want to bring you back to ground zero. Tonight, you have, and sometimes you dream and you, you are looking for something. You have lost something important. It means that the devil, and you are looking everywhere for it. You are looking, you are looking aimlessly. Meaning that the devil is snatching something important from your life. Tonight, I don't know what kind of evil dream you have had in recent times. 
but tonight you are going to pray and address that evil dream and I'm going to pray that whatever that evil dream means, and whoever the witches have met, and they are working against you in the realms of the supernatural, you are going to command the fire of God to locate them, to arrest them, and to consume them, and to consume their plans against your life. You are going to pray that, Father, every evil dream against my life and destiny, may it cut fire, and may it be consumed by fire. Whoever is responsible for this evil dream, may the Holy Ghost fire locate them. May the Holy Ghost fire locate them. May the Holy Ghost fire arrest them. May the Holy Ghost fire destroy them and destroy all their evil intention against me. I command the Father God to destroy them in Jesus' name. So tonight, whatever evil dreams you are having, address it tonight. Destroy it tonight. Even if you don't understand your dream, say, Father God, if this evil dream is being orchestrated against me by witches, by wizards, by demons, ancestral spirits, by idols, by force of darkness, by deities, tonight, I command the Father God to consume their plans in my life into ashes, and I release myself, and I pray that Father God, you give me my breakthrough, even in Jesus' name. Say this after me. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. By the power and the precious blood of Jesus. I cancel every evil dream. I destroy every evil dream by fire. I command the power of God. To locate my enemies. To arrest my enemies. And to destroy them by fire. And to destroy all their plans against me through my dreams. I cancel every evil dream by fire in Jesus' name. And I lose my destiny to move forward in Jesus' name. No weapon fashion against me. Through my dreams, whoever prosper. Begin to pray right now and cancel and destroy by fire every evil dream against your life. Reka Payadaba. Open your mouth and pray. Reka Payadabada. Jandarabados. Rantabadabada. Jandarabadabados. Reka Payadabada. Rantadabadabados. Reka Payadabada. Zantarabadababa. Enta da ba da ba dos, mesa da ba da ba da. Renta da ba da ba, rando da ba da ba dos. Renta da ba da ba ba ba, renta da ba da ba da ba, zanto da ba da ba da. Renta da ba ya da ba da ba, renka ta ya da ba da, zanto da ba da ba. Renta da ba da ba ba, renta da ba da ba ba, rento da ba da ba ba, zanta ya da ba da ba, renta da ba da ba ba, yanta da ba da ba, renta da ba da ba ba ba. Destroy every evil dream. Destroy every evil dream. Cancel every evil dream. Burn it up by fire. Burn it up by fire. Burn it up by fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Arrest. Arrest. Locate. And consume by fire. Every evil dream. Every perpetrator of this evil dream. Arrest the demons. Arrest the witches. Arrest them by fire. Consume them by fire. Consume their evil plans. Consume their conspiracies against my life. Through their evil dreams. I consume every witchcraft. Consume every demon. Every spirit husband. Every spirit wife. Consume their plans against me. Every demon of retrogression and stagnation. Consume them by fire. Every evil dream of untimely death. I consume them by fire. I break every evil dream. I consume every evil dream. I destroy every evil dream by fire. I cancel it by fire. I cancel it by fire. I cancel it by the blood of Jesus. I cancel it by the blood of Jesus. By the authority of the blood of Jesus. I cancel the evil dream. It shall not prosper. It shall not prosper. It shall not prosper. It shall not prosper. In my life, I destroy it. I cancel it. Every spirit of retrogression, stagnation, roadblocks. Set back. I break you by fire. I consume you by fire. I lose myself and destiny. Zoto pa 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 yanda ba 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 ba. Rete pa 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 pa. 
Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Burn it to ashes. Burn it to ashes. Burn it to ashes. Burn it to ashes. Every plan. Every plot. Every projection. Every prediction. Every expectation. Every policy. Every plan of the enemy against your children. Burn it up in the name of Jesus. Lose them. Lose them tonight. Free them tonight from every evil dreams in Jesus' name. I remove every sickness from your body. I remove every untimely death from your body. I release you from every arrows of the enemy. Every monetary de device break by fire in the name of Jesus. Tonight receive your freedom and liberty in Jesus' name. Rema mata la ba 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 ba. Zetele ba 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 ba. Zetele ba kara ba ba ba. Hi, this is Brother K, and once again, welcome to Fresh Fire Prayer Line, where we keep the fire of the Holy Spirit burning. By the grace of God, Fresh Fire Prayer Line is going from glory to glory, and the Lord God Almighty has been gracious to us and has been good to us until now. However, starting from next year, 2008, um, 2013, next year, 2013, I want to give you some information so that you mark these dates on your calendar and allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. And if you can join us, I'm starting from next year, um, the first Sunday of the year 2013. Those of you living in Maryland, Virginia, D.C. will be uh, meeting every Sunday at 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. for prayers. Uh, we call it the Hour of Power. The hour of power with Jesus Christ. The hour of power. We meet and we pray every Sunday from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Today I'm not going to give you details about the location because we are still in the process of putting all these uh, details together. But it's for sure. God willing, as you and I and make exit from the year 2012 and make our entrance into the year 2013, um, on Sundays, every Sundays, you can join us if you live in Maryland, Virginia, or D.C. And it's going to be located in Maryland. So I will further on come in and give you the details of where our meeting place is. Also, in the year 2013, God willing, if we enter into that year, we'll be having the Hour of Power Retreat with Jesus. Hour of Power Retreat with Jesus Christ and some of the schedules that I would like you to put in your, uh, to schedule yourself or put it on your calendar for now so that you will not miss those uh, retreat. Retreat simply means we are retreating to a separate, uh, a separate time or like a camp meeting where we come together and we, 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 we withdraw we ourselves from the, world, the things of this world and just come solely to seek the face of God for divine direction, empowerment, and praying and waiting on the Lord. But it is fresh fire prayer like uh, ministry. So every this retreat is basically prayers, prayers, prayers. You retreating to pray. For the Bible says that those who wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on eagles' wings. They shall run and never be worried. They shall walk and never faint. So it is a time of retreating to wait on the Lord. It doesn't matter who you are. It is a non-denominational prayer ministry. So whether you are a Baptist, a Catholic, a Baptist, uh, Methodist, or whatever Lutheran, you can join us on this retreat. It is time. It is just a place to pray. So even if, even if you are a prophetess, you are a pastor, a bishop, a apostle, if you want a time where you can spend some time with intensive prayers for empowerment, that's what we call it, the hour of power, the hour of power retreat with Jesus Christ. We are coming to pray that the Lord will refill us, charge us, energize us, empower us, so that whatever respective ministries that you have, you go and you know, do it in the might and the anointing of the Most High God. And those of you who have had opportunity to join us on the prayer line, you know Fresh Fire prayer line, we don't joke. We don't play. We are very serious. And that's why we always keep the fire of the Holy Ghost burning because our mandate is to spread the fire of God, the anointing of God, that 
for people to be enthusiastic about their God and to be passionate. Whatever capacity you are serving, you can be an apostle, a prophetess, whatever it is, join us in these days of retreat and you will never be the same. I'm saying this so that you can now begin to mark it in your calendar as you prepare for the year 2013 so that you can make um, this date. And it's going to happen three times. Um, with the Sunday uh, prayers, it's going to be all every Sunday of the every Sunday of the every Sunday of the month. Every Sunday we'll be meeting for from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. That is going to be regular. But for this retreat, retreat which you are, we are coming together from, uh, th that one is open to everybody from all the states on Fresh Fire Prayer Line. We have people calling from Ohio, Alaska, California, wherever they are coming. We call all these people together. You know, it doesn't matter your ministry. You can be a, uh, a woman of a prophetess or whatever. Come join us for prayers. Everybody needs prayer. Jesus Christ himself, he needed to. The Bible says that while before morning, he will isolate himself in an isolated place and be praying. That's why Jesus Christ was so much efficient. In three, in the matter of three years, what he did is still impacting the world today. What Jesus Christ did in the span of three years is still impacting the world after two 2,000 years, it is still impacting our generation and the generations to come because he was a man of prayer. He depended on the power of God, the anointing of God, and the grace of God was upon him because he was a man of prayer. He retreated with fasting and prayer. After 40 days and 40 nights, he came back and the power of God was upon him. Many of us are not seeing the glory of God because we are not retreating to fast and pray to wait upon the Lord to be graced. That's why you have been in ministry for many years. But you have to ask yourself, what have you done? We want to let, follow the examples of Jesus Christ. And this is what Fresh Fire Prayer Line is all about. I have seen it personally, how within a six month, the Lord has done so much for the ministry. Because we, we do spend a lot of time with fasting, praying, and waiting upon the Lord. I want to give you the opportunity to allow your destiny, your ministry, your purpose to begin to manifest. Enough is enough. You have to break forth to fulfill destiny. Jesus is coming soon. We don't have time to waste. So let's learn from Jesus Christ. And when you come, during that week of the fasting and the, the week of the retreat, the retreat will usually begin on Friday and end on Sunday. And the Monday, I, I, I plan it so much that on the Monday, it is a holiday. So you can just take your time, go back home and be with your family and all those things. No, the retreat is not for only you, it is for you, your husband and your children, your family, you know, your really whatever, bring them together and retreat and just spend this quality time in prayers with your family. And I believe that when you go restoration, blessings, miracle, healing, deliverances will take place. Next year, just as this year the Lord has been with us, it is no jokes. We are taking the kingdom of God by force. For the Bible says that those who know their God, they shall be strong and do exploit. The Bible says that at the time of John the Baptist, the king of God suffered violence and the violent take it by force. So I want you to mark these days down for the retreat and come uh, and prepare yourself and come and join us in the fasting and prayer. We will be fasting from Monday to Thursday, uh, fr Monday to Friday, but on Friday we will end at 6 and then the retreat begins and then it will end on Sunday. And I believe that Jesus Christ will move. No, our, our, our how do you call it? Our special guest will always be the, uh, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit who we are going to come in hungry as the dear panthers for water so my so long get after thee. I will be, we are all going to come in hungry for Jesus. And I believe that what happened in Azusa will definitely happen to us too. We all have to come hungry. We are not coming to idolize anybody. We are coming in to wait upon the Lord for Him to energize and refresh us. Um, so from next year, 2013, the first meeting, the first hour of power retreat, hour of power with Jesus Christ retreat will begin on February, February 15th, February 15th, it's, it's on Friday and it will end on the 17th, which is on Sunday, that will be the first quarter and um, the first meeting will be on February 15th and end on 17th, which is Sunday, the Monday is a holiday. Then the second meeting will be May 24th, May 24th, which is on the Friday, and it ends on the 26th, which is the Sunday. The next Monday is a holiday. And the last one is October 11th, October 11th, 
Friday and it ends on October 13th, which is a Sunday. The Monday is a holiday. So just put this date in your calendar and prepare ahead so that you can make it. And I believe your destiny, your life will never be the same because we will all come with the anticipation, with the belief that God will visit us, with the expectation that God himself will grace us and give us the grace. And you, you will, your life will never be the same. So the hour of power retreat for next year, 2013, the first meeting is on February 15th, Friday to 17th, which is the Sunday. The second one is May 24th, Friday, and it ends on the 26th, which is on Sunday. The Monday is holiday. And the last one is October 11th, Friday, and it ends on Sunday, the 13th. But however, from next year, January, um, January, I think, 5th, the first Sunday, we will begin to meet every Sunday from 6 p.m., 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. And this is open to everybody, whatever, whatever title, whatever position you are. If you believe in prayers, then you are more than welcome to join us during this hour of power with our Lord Jesus Christ retreat. Your life and destiny will never be the same. Come with great expectation. And also, when you come, some of the things that we'll be doing during the retreat, the programs I'm putting in places, Hour of Power for Women. Hour of Power for, hour of power for Women. Um, uh, the women will have an hour whereby women will come together and pray. It is just time of intercessory for women because I believe women, are, they, they play the defense in families, in homes, so women, there's going to be a special time where the women who come to this program will come together and meet for prayers, not for gossip, not for nothing, but for prayers. And they'll be praying, interceding for their marriages, praying for their children, praying for their grandchildren, praying for their families, praying for themselves, and their, their, you know, praying that the will of the Lord will be established in the homes. Women are the defense of marriages. Men are the attackers. Women defend the homes. So we need godly women who will intercede for their children, intercede for their husbands, intercede for their marriages, intercede and once and proclaim blessings. And as they do that, they will realize that the purpose of God will be established. So we will have an, a time, maybe an hour or two, for just women coming together during this retreat and just praying. And interceding for the family, children, husband, their career, whatever, and their purpose. And then we'll also you realize that every quarter, every quarter of the year, we are, we break the year into, uh, I think, three seasons. The first quarter, the second, uh, four four quarters. You no, know, January, February, March, April. You no, know, that's the first quarter. The April, May, June, July, August. The second quarter, June, August, September, October. Then the last quarter, so the first February, we are going to, instead of doing our anointing service on January, we'll be doing the anointing service on February. During the first retreat, we'll do the anointing service. So you come prepared and we're going to spend time going through the prophetic anointing prayers. After that, you anoint yourself. When you're coming to the retreat, you'll be advised to bring your own anointing oil and we'll come spending time praying and also praying on the anointing oil that when you go and use it on the sick, when you go, those of you with demons haunting your homes, you go anoint your homes, anoint yourself, and signs and wonders will follow. So there will be an hour of power for women. The anointing service will be done during this program. Then you remember in Fresh Fire Prayer Line, we usually do prophetic prayers. We'll be praying and prophesying into the year 2013 that the council, the will, and the purpose of God may be established. So we'll have time for prophetic prayers. Then there's going to be a time also for deliverances for those who are going through any form of bondage, whether it is the spirit of Python, the spirit of Jezebel, the spirit of Leviathan, the spirit of whatever demon forces of darkness harassing, tormenting, holding you bound. We are going to spend some time ministering to people in deliverance. And there's going to be a special time for healing and miracles where we also come in and pray and anoint people and believe God for healing and miracles. Whatever Jesus did, this is the time we retreat and believe God for the miracles. Our special guest during these programs will be the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit and the power of God at work in our lives. 
we will all come with great expectation, believing that Jesus Christ will visit us. That's why it is called an hour of power retreat with Jesus. An hour of power retreat with Jesus Christ. We are going to retreat and seek him, yearn for him until by the time you leave, I believe your life and your destiny will never be the same. The details um, uh, with this retreat is going to be happening in Maryland. Um, there's going to be either uh, located in Upper Marlboro or Laurel. I'm still working on the details of where these meetings will be. Will be for now. I just, I'm just giving you the general schedule. Uh, I'll come back and give you the details. The details of the um, the time will be um, will be meeting. But it's always going to be uh, the specific date I'm giving to you are going to be the date. It's fixed. I prayed about it. God has given me the confirmation. It's going to always going to be on Friday. It will end on Sunday. I'm come, I'll come back and give you the details of the um, how things will be working and the locations. But it is going to be in Maryland, either in around Laurel area or around Upper Marlboro. We'll be working on that. So these are the two venues. There's, um, there's the possibility. So if you live in Maryland, Virginia, D.C., from next year, every evening, we will be meeting 6 p.m. I'll also come at uh, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. I'll come back and tell you the place. It's going to be in Upper Marlboro. And the retreat is going to be either in Upper Marlboro and Laurel. I'll give you the details as times go by. But be in expectation. And next year, as we patiently wait for the soon return of our Lord Jesus Christ, we will also occupy by seriously fulfilling his purpose and his mission for our lives. I don't want to stand before Jesus Christ and say, oh, come to heaven. However, you wasted your life on earth. You couldn't fulfill destiny. I don't want to do that. If Jesus Christ was able to do so much in three years' time, then you and I, if we are still alive and kicking, we, f we should do greater things because the, the anointing, the grace of God will be given to us if we will only learn. Today, many are depending on philosophies, psychologies, um, human ideologies, motivational speaking, uh, and motivating people. You go and feel all the sensations and all the mood and all these things. You come back, you are still dry, you are still going through the situation. When we come for prayers, we will believe power, the power of God, the power of the Holy Ghost to transform our lives from the spirit level, body level, soul level, and the genetic level. Meaning God is going to transform you and break generational strongholds and curses from your life and lose you. It is not going to be a place of uh, motivational speaking and motivational uh, giving you power. And No, we don't do that in press prayer. prayer line. We depend solely on the Holy Ghost who can change you like just like he changed Saul and transform him, his name into uh, Paul. Just as he changed Jacob who was a supplanter and transformed his name into Israel and he became a mighty man. Just as he changed Japheth and transformed him. Just as he changed Jabez. That is the kind of transformation I am looking for. I want God to, to, to visit me and transform my destiny. So at Fresh Fire Prayer Ministry, we are, it's no, no joke. We are serious. We are hungry. And we want to keep the fire of God burning. If you are hungry for God, then don't miss this uh, opportunity to come and join us. God richly bless you. Hi, this is Brother Kay. And once again, welcome to Fresh Fire Prayer Line. Today is the day the Lord has made. We'll rejoice and be glad in it. This is a quick message for those of you who have been trying to um, call in into the prayer line. However, you are calling from a long distance. Some people are call, trying to call from UK, Australia, India, and all over. Uh, and and it's, it's expensive using your um, telephone. So uh, right now we are going on Block Talk Radio. So if you have access to the internet, you can just join us on Block Talk Radio. And it's the same fresh fire prayer line and once you log in you can hear me and then you can hear the whole law uh, of this service and pray with us just by through your computer through the internet and then when it is time for people to call in for prayers then i think you can use your phone just to call for that few minutes that you want uh, any prayers so I, I just came on to tell you that we are now on blog talk radio you can join us on tuesdays and also on Fridays. And remember, every Tuesdays and Fridays, we do fast from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. May God richly bless you. Bye. I'll leave information for you to know how to access it. Bye. 
every we meet on every Tuesdays and Fridays for prayers. On Tuesdays we meet just for one hour. We meet at um, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, 9 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, and 8 p.m. Pacific Time. So 10 Eastern Time, 9 Central Time. 8 Mountain Standard Time and 7 p.m. Pacific Time just for one hour on Tuesdays and on Fridays we meet to fast and pray just like on Tuesday also and on Fridays it is 3 hours we meet on 11 p.m. on Fridays Eastern Time 11 p.m. Eastern Time 10 p.m. Central Time 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time and 8 p.m. Pacific Time on Fridays. Remember, on both Tuesdays and Fridays, we do fast. Both Tuesdays and Fridays, we do fast. And we fast from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. That is water fasting. The Bible says that these things go as not except through fasting and prayer. So depending on how serious you are with your what you want to receive from the Lord. Join us on Tuesdays and Fridays for fasting and prayer. And God will definitely bring your breakthrough. On Tuesdays, remember, it's just for one hour. And on Friday, it is for three hours. And for the fasting, if for any reasons you can't do from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., for medical reasons or any reason, you can always do it from 6 a.m. to 6 noon or 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. whatever time you can do God searches your heart and just fast and pray and believe the Lord and He will answer your prayers uh, with a prayer line to the whole of this year we have listed our five prayer requests five things you want the Lord to do for you before the end of the year list your five prayer requests when we meet we give opportunity for us to pray that the Lord will come to for us concerning our five prayer requests and have faith and pray the living God and God will come through for you. So I look forward to you joining us on Tuesdays and Fridays for the fasting and prayer. God answers prayers. These things work not except for fasting and prayer. And also if you are interested in knowing much about um, deliverance, um, I have a book called Spiritual Diagnosis. Um, this month we are doing the theme is um, we're dealing with deliverance. And if you don't know much about this and you don't know much, you don't know about deliverance, then I encourage you to order the book. It is um, just ten dollars and free posting if you live in the United States, and it will help you to really understand uh, what. Uh, Spiritual warfare is all about. It's called spiritual diagnosis. It helps you to be able to diagnose for yourself your own spiritual problems and to be able to effectively use the word of God to deal with the problem. Just as you go to the hospital and the doctor has to first diagnose you in order to find out what problem is with you and be able to now treat you. When you go, you take your car to the mechanic. You have to diagnose the car in order to find a fault and then fix it. In the same way, spiritually, to you have to be able to spiritually diagnose your problem and be able to effectively use the word of God to fight against whatever you burden, cares, and the last case upon you. So, spiritual diagnosis helps you to uh, diagnose your spiritual problem and to effectively use the word of God to address that issue and to be able to overcome whatever challenge. You are going through spiritual diagnosis i believe if you want to know about your spiritual state and how to do spiritual warfare uh it's one book you want to order it and it will be of a great blessing to you so i look forward for uh, for you joining us on tuesdays and fridays for fasting and prayer god richly bless you and don't stop praying if you keep on praying you will grow stronger and stronger as your enemies grow weaker and weaker and you will have dominion and power over your enemies and you will trample them under your feet because Jesus Christ has given you and I the power 
to walk upon us or trample over scorpions and serpent and over all the powers of the enemy and they shall by no means do us any harm. Uh, there's a saying that you know a prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. A prayerless. If you don't pray, you are powerless. You don't have power and demons cannot overcome you. But if you are praying then you are a danger to the forces of darkness because you carry power. Prayer gives you the avenue to connect with divinity with God and God releases the power to you for you to overcome and subdue all the works of the enemy under your feet. You are more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. Don't be intimidated by the devil. God bless you.